Grab a notebook, grab a pen. Do your homework and tell a friend. Know all the answers and buzz them in. Who knows it better? You are them. It's the cooking classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Oh! Hey! Yes, Diane's got it! That's the energy. What's up, Marcus? What's up, teachers? Out of your classroom and into mine today. I love that they made it. I love that you made it too. Big news, we have the students looking good over here and we got our teachers eyeing them up saying, I want that victory. Hey, they're from Chester High School in Delaware County. They just entered the classroom where students and teachers are both getting graded. Hey, look at Delco in the house today. What's up, Delco? I love it when they bring that energy because they know what's on the line. That's $500 cash to the winning team and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. We're starting the show with a pop quiz. Okay, Delco is ready and I hope you guys are too at home. As always, play along, see how many you can get. Grab your buzzers, we have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock, teams. We're gonna get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer banks you 10 points. You buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question right, 10 points goes to you. If you get it wrong, the other side's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. No one's ever ready, but a pop quiz is coming your way right now. If a number is a multiple of five, its last digit has to be either five or what? Miss Goldstein. Zero. Teacher strike first. In the NFL, the city of Detroit is represented by who? Marcus. The Lions. Good. What is the name of England's most iconic prehistoric monument that consists of a ring of standing stones? Miss Norman. Stonehenge. Good. That extra credit sound means it's worth double the amount of points. Here's 20 points on this question. What element is commonly known as quicksilver? Marcus. The magnesium. Teachers for the steel, Mr. Daniels. Mercury. Mercury had the M. There was just the rest of it you didn't get. In music, what is a measured interval of silence between notes called? Miss Norman. A rest. Rest is right. What name is given to the seafaring raiders from Scandinavia during the 8th to 11th centuries? Miss Goldstein. Vikings. Vikings is right. The quote, all children except one grow up, refers to what beloved character? Miss Goldstein again. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Teachers on a little bit of a tear here. Students, let's get you guys back in this. In algebra, what is the term for the system of equations that have the same solution? <laughs> we were looking for equivalent or equivalent systems. What is the capital of Italy? Miss Goldstein. Rome. Rome is right. Mac, Dennis, Dee, and Charlie are characters in what TV show based in Pennsylvania? Miss Goldstein. It's always funny in Philadelphia. Right again. That's going to bring you up to 90 points. Wow. What a round for the teachers. 90 for them and 10 for the students. That's okay. We're off to a great start. We have the students and teachers from Chester High School in Chester, Pennsylvania, home of the Clippers here today. And we're going to meet our teams. My man, Marcus, hey, you broke the ice with the Lions, though. You got on the board, and it's only going to get better from here. Uh, dude, 12th grader, $500. You get to decide where that goes. If you win it today, where are we putting it? I'm putting it towards a senior trip. All right, nice. Do you guys know where you want to go yet? Still making decisions. All right, nice, man. So listen, if you just give me the 500, you guys can have a party at my house. <laughs> hey. Not a bad idea. Both make money here. Uh, class prez, right? Yeah. So you could represent the whole student body, a guy like you. What's the toughest decision you've had to make so far? Um, no, no, not all of them, right? Yeah, yeah all of lot. them. Uh, where are you going next year as a senior? Uh, Westchester University. Oh, perfect. What do you want to study? Sports medicine. Okay, nice job, man. Good luck today, all right? Take Thank this you. team to victory. All right, Najiro, good to see you. 12th grader, you're a student governor. You kind of know each other because you're a secretary and yeah. student gov. What's, the, what's that like? What do you just got to write a lot of notes? Um, hard, tiring. <laughs> yep, and you do it tirelessly <laughs> for everybody else, right? Yeah. What do you want to do when you graduate? Um, College, nursing. Nursing? Mm -hmm. And you don't mind the, the, the bodily fluids, if you will, or whatever? Uh -huh. The blood gets me. I, the needles. <laughs> I'm scared of everything. You can do it, and you'll be great at it. And then all the way at the end, Diane, good to see you. 12th grader, I'm so excited to say this. You're a published author. Uh, yes, I recently got published in a French church newspaper. Oh, awesome. And now you can claim to fame. You're like, guys, I've done it. <laughs> I'm ready to rock. All right, now listen. You got 500 on the line, but more importantly, bragging rights. You're down. 80 points right now. I'm ready to see that comeback. Let's do it. All right, guys. Good luck today. <laughs>
All right, three great kids, three awesome teachers. Miss Norman, how are you? I'm fine. Awesome. $500 on the line. Where's that going to go if you win it? We're going to put it towards student benefits, particularly positive reinforcement incentives. Nice. They do well. You're like, here's 10 bucks, kid. Keep going. <laughs> I love that. That'll make any kid good. So awesome. You have a little bit of a green thumb, which is perfect because during the summer you have off. Yes, yes. And you love to garden? Yes, What's constantly. Your, oh, but you just love it? Weeding is just, it's the worst. I don't know how people enjoy that. It's a labor of love. That's a, and, your, and your garden's beautiful? Yes. All right, nice. Constantly so, you got to invite it. me over sometime. Let me check it out. Miss <laughs> Goldstein, good to see you. Yo, you were on fire that round. You're like, guys, I know them all, no problem. You're a science teacher. You have a dog named Brody who's at home watching right now. Hi, Brody. Roof, roof. Have a snack, bud. We love you. He's got some really cool eyes. Yeah, he has one brown eye and one blue eye. Oh, wow. And do we know why? Oh, uh, it's just a genetic quirk of him, I guess. <laughs> That's such a cool, and he's at home right now, so just give him mm -hmm. a wave, say hi. Hey, Brody, be uh, good. Yeah. Eat, don't eat the couch, Brody, <laughs> again. <laughs> Mommy's tired of buying them. All right, Mr. Daniels, good to see you. Your English is a second uh, second language teacher, yes. right? Uh, what's that? So it's called ESOL? Yeah, I teach English to students who are learning English for the first time. That's got to be tough, yeah. right? It's fun. Not it's for fun. you, not for you. You're, yeah. you're a professional, ready to rock. <laughs> Man, you like to shred the guitar as well? Yeah, I teach guitar after school, and uh, we have a good time. All right, if you teach the guitar with the all-time greatest guitar player, do you have one? Uh, Jimmy Page. Yeah, right? <laughs> what, like, why not, right? Yeah. All right, how much do you guys like these three kids over here? They're great kids. They're All right, well, wonderful. wonderful kids. Do you guys mind sending them to attention? Because that's where they could be going next. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass. You choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You get to send anybody else to detention. But if you get it wrong, the other team can pick one of you. It's a long, sad walk over there, so just don't get it wrong. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. The first team to fill up detention with their rivals wins 40 points. Students, we get you right back into the game here, so let's win this round. We're going to start with you. Category is flags. You go play. Which two colors are used for the stripes on the flag of Spain? Uh, the green and white. No. Green and white. We're looking for yellow and red. That's a tough one, guys. You got it incorrect, which means teachers, you get to send somebody to detention. Who's going to go? Diane. Diane. <laughs> Unanimously, Diane, you got to go to detention. Sorry, you're out of this game. Enjoy yourself over there. Yeah, that's up. Hey, mom's clapping for you, though. Okay, Diane, you sit over there, and we're going to keep moving. Teachers, your category is geography. You're going to play. Yeah, Here you go. The play. Four Corners Monument marks the point where four different U.S. states meet. Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and what other state? That's what I was thinking. Colorado? Colorado's going to get you that point. That's right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're two for two. Teachers, you got to send somebody else to detention. Students are dwindling. Who's going to go? Marcus. Marcus. Marcus, team captain, looks surprised. He's like, come on, guys. Nigeria, you're all by yourself. You're all by yourself. I've seen people come back and win this with their backs against the wall. So we're going to start with you. The category is yours as well, which is fantastic. How do you feel about movies? Yeah, fine. Yeah, we're going to yeah. take it? All right, that smile says it all. You're like, I don't mind being the last one here. Here's your question. In what 2016 Marvel movie does a secret government agency recruit some of the most dangerous incarcerated supervillains to save the world from apocalypse? Pardon me. <laughs> we're looking for the, oh man, yeah, that's not going to get it done. We were looking for the suicide squad right there. So uh, Nigeria, you are, you got, I hate to do this to you. You got to go to detention. And just like that, it's a teacher sweep, bringing them up to 130. Now look, they may be up right now, but it's a long game ahead of us. So don't go anywhere. We are headed to that study hall when we come back.
The desks are set. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Chester High School in Delaware County going head to head. Teachers, man, are they teachering right now. We got 130 points on the board for them. Students, they're saying, guys, we're coming back. They got 10 points on the board, but it's only getting better because there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win. Pay attention, everybody. We are going to study hall. Study all. Here's how the game works. Each team selects one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players will have 10 seconds to study a photo. Then we're going to ask you three questions about that photo, one at a time. Both players have five seconds to write down their answers. You're going to reveal those questions on a chalkboard. We're going to see if you have them right. You score them right, it's going to get you 10 points. But if you get it wrong, no players or points awarded. Okay, teams, look across the aisle. You have five seconds aside. Who's going to study hall? Teachers, we're going to start with you. Deep in thought over here. You got to pick a student. Who's it going to be? Marcus. Marcus. And Marcus, before you leave, he's like, what? I don't want to go. <laughs> Marcus, before you leave, you, your team decided to send what teacher to study hall? Mr. Daniels. Mr. Daniels. Marcus, around the front, we're going to study hall. Let's do it. Okay, teams, you guys ready to do this? We have 10 seconds on the clock. The photo's gonna show up right there. Eyes on the prize, no writing quite yet. Just study that photo. Time starts right now. Okay, pictures away. Wow, that was a lot to take in in 10 seconds. You guys are going to have five seconds to jot down your answers as soon as I'm done reading the question. Make sure if you're at home, you're playing along. Let's see how you guys do as well. Question number one. What number is the player wearing on the big screen above the ice? Five seconds starts now. All right, here we go. Let's reveal these answers. Mr. Daniel's struggling with his pen. You used one of them before? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just reveal your answers and you tell us what number it is, my friend. Here we go. Let's see those chalkboards, guys. We have 76, and you were trying to write? 86. 86. Are either one of them right? Let's see the answer. 89, you were so oh, close. Yeah. And 76 is incorrect. No points awarded, that's okay guys. That was just the first question. We're moving on to question number two. The Flyers are playing what team? Five seconds on the clock, here you go. Deep in thought here. All right, your answers, let's put them out. What do we have? Jets. And the oils? <laughs> what? Is, I, I oilers. <laughs> <laughs> the oilers. No, no, no. I, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, not see. let's check out either one of these answers. Are they right? The answer is Jets, which means Mark is another ten points. <laughs> okay, Mark is banking in on that. All right, guys. Here is your final question. There are four logos on the ice: Chick Fil A, StubHub, Dietz and Watson, and what car company? Five seconds starts now. Mr. Daniels looks confused again. Marcus feverishly writing. Okay, let's hold up those answers, guys. We have Toyota and Ford. What's the answer? We're looking at Toyota. My man, Marcus. Crushing it right now. Mr. Daniel, study hall is not your thing. But that's okay, you're more of a class guy. And I hope you're not done yet because tune your tuba. Music class is next, my friends, followed by that all important final exam. Students, back in the classroom when we come back. Man, it was. First teachers from Chester High School in Delaware County. I've made my way out onto this bus load of Chester fans. What's up, everybody? Yeah. yeah. Hey, big game ahead of us right now. Teachers up the right now, 130 on the board to our fellow students, 30. But they got it back without 100, and we still have plenty of time left. And you guys hear that? 
That's that sweet sound of music class, and that's where we're going next. <laughs> Okay, I heard a Marcus, you're so cute, coming back from that. I don't know who it was, Marcus, but someone's got some eyes for Teen Cappy time. All right, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Fox 29's Mike Jarek, he does the best job with these. He's going to read a small portion of the lyrics. We'll see if it's really good or not. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the answer, well, they're going to win 10 points for their team. But if you buzz it in incorrect, as always, the other side can have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. We have three sets of lyrics today. Here we go, guys. Question number one. What rapper sings these lyrics in a 2016 song? Mike Jarrett, good luck. All right, Richard, teachers, students. Now they always say, congratulations. Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation. First one to fire in there was Marcus. Post Malone. Post Malone is right. Congratulations. I said congratulations. All right, moving into question number two, students. Let's see if we can keep this up. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 song? Mike Jarek. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Watch me. Level up, level up. <laughs> Long one, but Marcus, you got it after the second word. What's the answer there? Beyonce. No, it's not. Incorrect. We're looking over here. <laughs> Buzz it if you know it. Sorry, guys. Do you know it now? Marcus, for redemption. Sierra was the oh, right answer. Oh, Sierra. That's a tough one. Beyonce and Sierra, very two different people. Okay, guys, don't worry. You have a chance right here to get right back into it. Here's question number three. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2019 Grammy-nominated song? Mike Jarek, take it away. All right, your last one. Sometimes I feel like giving up, uh, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. No dings yet. It's silent. Could have a stumper on her hands, and we do, guys. That was Sean Mendez with the song In My Blood. A big thanks to Mike Jarek for that performance, as always. He is this generation's songbird. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers, 130. Students, you climbed within 100 points. That's huge. Heading into final exam, you're with 40 points. You're only one question away from tying this thing up. More importantly, possibly taking the lead. Hey, you guys know what's coming up next, and we're going to the final exam right now. <laughs> The topic of today's final exam is computers. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our topic. Then they're going to put their heads together and see if they can come up with their answer. Don't forget, guys, 100 points for each correct answer on the final exam. Let's see how you do. Don't, no, no writing quite yet. Before we go to commercial break, here are your questions. Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are programs owned by what software company? Question two, instead of an apple, what fruit appeared on the computers, tablets, and phones of characters in iCarly, Victorious, Sam and Cat, and Henry Danger? Finally, what does the abbreviation WWW stand for in an internet address? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it. Come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. We're gonna see if the students can come back after a long game and beat these teachers and win that 500. But don't go anywhere. We'll find out the answer right after the commercial break. Hey, you guys wanna be a part of the show? The classroom loves you and we want you to be. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. That was inception right there. That was so cool. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and the teachers from Chester High School. 
battling it out. Scores right now, teachers in the lead 130 to the students 40, but we are in the final exam. Before we went to break, we learned that the topic today is computers. Each correct answer, guys, you get about computers, gonna be worth 100 points. With 300 points possible, it's anybody's game. So let's see it. Can the students come roaring back after a game they've tried to catch up to all day? Let's do it. Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are programs owned by what software company? We're gonna start with our students. Diane, you said? Microsoft. Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, that's right. Up to 140. Teachers, you use it all the time, but did you say it? Microsoft. They did, and look at that, 230. Here we go, instead of an apple, what fruit appeared on the computers, tablets, and phones of characters in iCarly, Victoria, Sam the Cat, and Henry Danger? Nigeria, you said? A pear. A pear is right, there's 100 points. Okay, Miss Goldstein. Pear. A pear as well. They are gonna keep track. And it comes down to this. Students, you have to get this right. Abbreviation, WWW stands for what? Team Captain, Marcus. World Wide Web. That's gonna get you 100. Here it comes, teachers, you get this. You're getting that money and the bragging rights. Worldwide they win. did. Teachers win the game today. Come on out here and get your prize. Students, get out here as well. I hope you guys had a great time. Man, they couldn't pull it off, but so close. We're going to see you guys next time with a brand new episode, new questions, new teachers, and 500 more dollars for somebody to win. We'll see you next time. Guys, great game, man. Awesome, Diane. Girl, you got it. Right here, good job.